Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about something particularly special. Right, so straight off the bat, for those that have followed this channel, the other channel, NAS Compare, Span or anything, or basically all of NAS at the moment, you will know that this is a device that has me very, very interested. It looks very, very small. And on this channel, I've dealt with rack mounts, I've dealt with huge server arrays, tiny little compact NAS and everything. But this is probably one of the most exciting things I've seen all year, which says more about me than it does about the unit. Now, this is a USB to 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. QNAP first told us about it much earlier in the year, and finally, it is available. This gives you the ability to upgrade your Mac, Windows, or Linux system from 1 GBE, which is pretty much the standard everywhere, and lets you upgrade to 5 GBE just using a USB port. What does that mean in real terms? Well, at the moment when you want to interact with a NAS on a network level or any existing network in your home or business environment, then chances are that you do it via one gigabit Ethernet. It's the standard LAN cables that exist in any network environment, and one gigabit Ethernet in real terms means 100 megabytes of upload and download between you and maybe your NAS or the network in general. Now that's more than enough for stuff like watching TV and DLNA and basic standard stuff or even backups that you're not really in a rush with. But the minute you need to interact with your data on a much higher volume or speed, such as the way data has moved in the last few years to get bigger and better and we need it faster and faster, one gigabit Ethernet or 100 megs just doesn't cut it. Your mobile phone probably produces files. Some of those photos are upwards 10 to 12 or even 20 megs. The new iPhone can produce enormous photos. And you try editing those while those files are on a NAS or over the network, you are going to be in trouble. And if you're looking at videos, one gigabit Ethernet is just not good enough for interacting with that data beyond simply watching it. So many of you have been told to upgrade to 10 GBE, upgrade to Thunderbolt NAS and more, but we all know these things cost a fortune. And not just upgrading the infrastructure, but you also have to upgrade your host system. You've just bought your new PC. You've had your PC for a few years. You don't want to trade in and get a new one. Moreover, upgrade cards can be very expensive. They require a lot of fiddling and installing stuff. And maybe you haven't even got a PCIe slot. Maybe you've got some portable Ultrabook or MacBook that may or may not have Thunderbolt, but you can't just upgrade as easy as that. That is why this is important. I know this is a long intro, guys, but bear with me. This the adapter here, the name's on the bottom of the screen, as you can see, the UC51GT, I believe. Um, this device allows you to connect a USB cable between your PC or Mac system, USB-C, let's bring that closer, then at the other end, have a LAN connector. Now, that LAN connector there will allow you to connect to an existing 10 gigabit network. It will allow you to connect to an existing one gigabit Ethernet network. Or you can attach another one of these to your QNAP NAS and then these two NATs can communicate at five times network speed. Now this device retails for about 90 to 100 pounds. That's without your local tax and wherever you are in the world. And it's available now from the guys at Span. There's a subtle plug, bing. But what makes this interesting is the idea that we can upgrade our host systems incredibly easily now. We don't have to feel that we have to upgrade the entire infrastructure in one go, and we don't have to spend a packet doing it. This gives us the ability to just upgrade our network connectivity by five times what it was before, which is a USB plug and play adapter. There is a driver for it, and it's one of the Aquantia drivers, but you probably don't even need to get it, and most systems will download it automatically. But don't worry, if you do need it, all the links are available from QNAP, and of course, a simple Google search will give you everything you need. Now, the controller inside comes from that company, Aquantia, and Aquantia have been producing some fantastic network controllers in the last couple of years. Most of us have never heard of them, but now they are a brand name really to contend with networking in networking sectors because of the affordability of their solutions. We've seen them in QNAP, Synology, Asus Store, and more. And this Aquantia controller inside is what allows us to use USB protocol and let it interact with network protocol. Now, we've this isn't the first USB to network adapter we've ever seen. We, of course, have seen many in the past, many of which we've talked about on the channel. We have got simple USB 3 to 1 gigabit Ethernet controllers. And I remember at the time when I reviewed this very StarTech adapter many years ago, highlighting the fact that you're using USB 3 
for one gigabit Ethernet. You are using five GB, uh, five gigabit connection to get one gigabit output. That's a waste, a huge waste. And I remember at the time saying, where is a better version of this? Then a little later, we saw ones like this. This is the Uni 1GBE to USB-C adapter, utilizing that great USB-C connector there, putting it out at 1GBE, and this allows us to make our mobile phones have a LAN connection. I've got a whole video on this very device coming soon. And the USB-C, of course, is, is much, much better for power output, and of course, better generations of USB 3.1 Gen 2, etc., will be required to take advantage of that, but USB-C gives us a lot of hardware advantages that typical USB-A didn't have to start with. But again, USB 3 to 1 GBE. The bottleneck is there. Now, what makes this particularly interesting is that when you get it, it arrives obviously in a little, little beautiful retail box. Let's have a look there. I've said, I don't really think I'm going to call this video an unboxing. But there we go. It's the nice retail box there. And inside, we've got our quick start installation guide and information about the driver and more. Let's try and get that so the light doesn't absolutely ruin uh, that book. And on top of that, we have a USB-A to USB-C cable, much like the others. But this USB is a USB-3 cable. There's our A, there's the blue, that's the dead giveaway. And then, of course, we've got that USB-C, which we connect in there. And then we connect that to our PC system. And then, boom, there we've got it. 5 GBE um, output, 5 GBE input. We have got no bottleneck there. We are getting our 5 gigabit all the way through to our local machine. Now, for those of you that have only got USB-C ports or want to take advantage of USB-C, you can get a different USB-A, uh, a USB-C to USB-C cable. QNAP don't stock that, but you can get it from lots of places. Alternatively, you can get adapters like this for 99p that allow you to connect you, uh, and change everything from USB-C to USB-C without having to worry about that. Again, better nicker those are, they cost nothing. But it's, the reason I'm so excited about a device like this is it allows us to upgrade the way we use our NASes on a far easier level than we'd had before. Prior to this, we talked about PCIe upgrade cards and 10 GBE and how they're becoming more affordable, but still expensive. We can look at adapters like this Sonic adapter that utilizes Thunderbolt, which I know looks the same as the other one, but it is a Thunderbolt cable going into 10 gigabit ethernet, which don't get me wrong, it's faster than this, that's faster, but you need to have Thunderbolt to take advantage. And because of the difficulties a lot of brands have to have Thunderbolt on their systems, because Intel is very precious about its, low, about its technology, Thunderbolt 3 is still a connection that isn't available you know, anywhere near as, as, as prolifically as USB 3, and that's why this is important, because we've all got USB 3 ports on our machines now. I can't think of many machines you can buy right now, and that includes tablets too that don't have USB 3. Now, I'm going to be testing this device on a multitude of platforms, Windows and Mac platforms. I'm also going to test it on, a, on a, an Android tablet that's got USB 3, and I'm going to be testing it on Synology and Asus Store 2. We have a whole barrage of tests for this, and that's why this is just the hardware review. Now, there's the Aquantia chip inside. It's worth mentioning we have LEDs on either end that let us know system access and USB connection. On top of that, the device is fanless. There's no fan inside there, and the whole thing is kept cool with heat, a heat sink inside on the controller and the external of the device being an aluminium chassis that's grooved for air, air coverage and generally just to aid heat dis dissipation. And the other cool thing, power. It requires no additional power. It's powered completely by USB bus. USB 3 or USB 3.0 or USB 3.1 Gen 1 or USB 3.2 Gen 1, depending on one of the mini names that's out there, is enough to power this device. So again, this is what I call a real easy investment that's both portable and a massive upgrade on your existing system for less than 100 nicker. You cannot argue with that. If you are interested in getting hold of one of these bad boys for your QNAP NAS system, because remember, it works both on the NAS side and the PC side, thanks to Network Virtual Switch, then do go to the guys at span.com in the description and read the NAS Compare article. It goes into far more detail with lots of lovely close-ups of this device. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming soon, and I can't wait to tell you about it. Cheerio.